This is Callow Hall, a 19th century Grade II listed mansion just outside Ashbourne, a lesser known corner of the UK and the gateway to the Peak District. And it's the Sunday Times Hotel of the Year 2021. It was a hotel before, but even loyal guests admit it had become tired and neglected. Now it's been done up by a new hotel group called Wild Hive to the tune of £7 million. They've given the house a major makeover, 15 bedrooms and lots of inviting public rooms full of art and tiled fireplaces. And more to the point, they've expanded out into the grounds. There's a relaxed informality here that General Manager Jeremy Whitworth believes will keep guests coming back. It's a home away from home. As, as soon as guests uh, come into the hotel, uh, they're just amazed by uh, of what we have created. Um, it's all about that immersing back into to nature. We're very much a homely feel. We want it to feel like you're, you're coming to your friend's house. The map room in the old coach house will help you plan your yomps. This is also where you'll find the techno gym, the yoga studio, two treatment rooms, manicures come with wonderful countryside views, and a fleet of bikes for hire. Lovely as the house rooms are, we were really won over by the hives, the cabins in the woods that are like a supermodel version of a shepherd's hut. Um, if you come in, we've got a finishing kitchen. Uh, it's got a sink, a nice little fridge. Got your milk and water in there. Wild Hive is about having accommodation out in the wild, whilst you've still got a lovely hub for guests to stay in if they don't want to stay out in the wild. It's very important to sort of look at what's around you. And there are many very fine hotels in, in, in grand buildings, but we wanted to put a twist on that. And that's why we created the Wild Hive accommodation. You can order room service up here, but tear yourself away for breakfast down at the new restaurant, a glass extension with a living roof and lovely views of sheep nibbling the hills. Food is good, and head chef David Bukovisky sources lots of ingredients locally. It's called a casual dining, so we, want to, we don't want to do fine dining as such. We want to have really good quality ingredients, local ingredients. We've got the uh, kale that's come from the garden today from this dish. We've got parsnips uh, that have grown in the garden. Well, it's fantastic just to be able to go out and just pick your own stuff and see what you know what's the best stuff out there and pick the pick the best of the produce. Uh, the best time of the year that that's growing is going to be the best that that fruit and veg is going to be. So when we pick it, it's straight out of the ground. It's straight from there to the table that day. So we can't get any fresher than that. The Peak District has been crying out for this sort of stylish country house hideaway with its plans to open more outposts in the region and its home from home knack for putting guests at ease, Wild Hive might just have the answer.